Hey guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. This is a quick video on how to get uh, your print and cut designs over to VPM so you can print through the VPM print utility to your Sawgrass printer because we all know that you get a much better and higher quality print when you print through there um, rather than printing directly through Silhouette Studio. However, if you're using the new Caesar Easy Subly, the um, exporting a design from Silhouette Studio with registration marks and then getting it into VPM is a bit challenging. So we have a couple of workarounds. So the first thing that you want to make, make sure that you do is go uh, to your VPM and make sure that under options you have the Caesar um, edition. So if you don't and if you have um, only Sawgrass there, you want to click enable new edition. This little box will come up and you just want to type in Caesar and click apply. I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again. But what happens then is then you will have under options and addition, uh, you will have both Sawgrass and Caesar. And so when that happens, then you then you have the um, print quality, I mean the color palettes for um, the Caesar Easy Subly materials and the Caesar Easy Subly inks, okay? All right, so what you want to do from Silhouette Studio um, is you've got everything all set up here. You have your registration marks on. These are the, these registration marks are just in the default um, position. I haven't done anything else to it. Now this is for a Mac because for a PC you can th print through VPM from the print utility right in Silhouette Studio. In Mac, we cannot. So we need to be able to export this entire work area, registration marks and all, in a format that VPN can then take. We can export as a PDF from Studio, but VPM can't import a PDF. So we have a couple workarounds in this area. We're gonna go to File, Print. And when the, work, when the box pops up, we're gonna go down here, and instead of save as PDF, we wanna click open in preview. And what that does is it's gonna open the entire thing, registration marks and all, in a preview window. And you'll see it, the design, everything is right here, okay? So registration marks and everything. And then we can go up to file, export, and from here, we can name it, so Mandela with reg marks, and I can change the format to JPEG or PNG. I'm just gonna change it to, to JPEG. Um, whatever resolution you want, you know, you can go as high as you want, and then click Save. Okay, so that saves as a JPEG to my um, desktop. All right, now I'm gonna go back to VPM and click open local file and I'm just gonna find that file I've done it twice now you can see actually a couple times so I'm gonna this is the one that we just made Mandela with registration marks you can even see in the preview window it has the in the little preview it has the registration marks when I click open VPM will launch now because I am using the um, easy subly ink and material <clears throat> I'm going to need to, I don't know what this is doing here. I'm going to need to make just a couple of changes. First of all, from the layout, let's get this to load. All right, here it goes. All right, so you can see I've got this warning. The layout is too um, long. That's because the Easy Subly paper is only eight and a half, in 8.4, um, not eight and a half. So if I just change this to the width to 8.4, it'll then pop up over here, all right? And you can see there are the registration marks. Now, if yours does not look like this, where it has the space, go to the layout tab you, and make sure it's on Preserve Layout from Designer. If you have it on VPM Performs Layout, watch the registration marks, okay? So it's gonna print incorrectly. We wanna make sure that you have Preserve Layout from Designer so that it opens exactly how we saved it from Studio, all right? And then Materials all set, we do not want to mirror. And then we can hook up right to our Sawgrass SG400 or 800 and press Print, and it will print and then you are then able to take that sheet and 
you know, load it onto your silhouette cutting mat and cut through Silhouette Studio and it will cut, it will look for those registration marks first and then it will cut as you normally would with a regular print and cut.